hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to create a lsmw in sap so let's begin with what is lsmw it is a program which can create by user himself to upload mass data into sap using a text file okay shall we move to the uh, sap screen T code is LSMW and here press OK. Now we have to give a project name. So any name you want, I give is it bomb. So I create this LSMW to change the bomb component material. So I want to replace the existing bomb component material from another one. So the description is bomb component update or material update. Now give the sub project name. And the description any any name any description you can give object and object name press OK now press execute now uh, you have to complete the step one here we have few option you can use badge input recording or object method so here I am going to use the recording method so I select object type as badge input recording then in the menu bar go to recording overview and here I create a new recording so give a name and a description for your recording recording name is it bomb and a description any description you want now press ok uh, here give the t code transaction code so bomb change transaction code is cs02 now you give the material plant and bomb usage and press enter so here now you are inside the bomb so the existing component is uh, 255 here you can change this component into a new component uh, if you want you can change the quantity uh, unit of measure anything you want now press enter now again press enter enter okay now save the screen and go back now it captures all the data relevant to this recording uh, press default all button now the field name and the descriptions are appear which relevant to this recording now you have to copy these fields name and the description into an excel file to prepare a text file I copy the data and go to Excel and paste the data so here you have to do some Excel work uh, you have to put a text to column function here because these two fields are in, uh, in uh, combined to one uh, column you have to break it to a two column so I'm not going to detail explain these steps because you already know done now these two fields are in the two columns now you have to remove these blank rows from this excel file so i'm going to use it from a filter function but there are many other options as well done now this uh, blank rows removed already now we have to get a transpose of these fields right I copy the data and I create I open a new sheet it's better okay paste paste special 
and transpose done now the first row I have the phase name and the second row description right I go to the SAP screen and I'm still at the recording overview so I save the data and press back okay again back now you have to select your recording and press this icon this one okay it pick the recording if you have multiple recording you have to you have to select the correct one right if there is only one it uh, already selected that one so I save the data and come back and now I am in the second step so here first uh, press the change button and create button and give the source structure name here you can give the any name you want is it bomb one and the description material update in bob done now save your data and go back third step maintain source field here press change button that's it and go to the field mapping source field selection right here the always this type should be C and alpha numerical content so in for the field name you have to copy and paste these fields name into SAP paste the data there and for all the fields type should be C and the length here you have to give the length of this field right first one material number so what is the length what is the length it's 8 okay here the important thing is you have to give give the length more than the actual length or equal one if if material number length is 8 you have to give at least 8 or a number greater than that if you give seven or six I mean the less number than the eight then it will be a problem then then your LSW give errors so safer safer option is to give the field length more than the actual length okay the POS NR is the bomb item number so usually it's two but I give four bomb component 10 component quantity component unit of measure normally it will be 2 but I give 5 relevancy for cost costing normally it's 1 but I give 2 now you copy the field description and now we are done now you can save the data and press back you have changed the source fields okay save the data and press back now the next step so structure relationship here change button and the relationship is I think already done so save the data and press back next one field mapping and the conversion rules this is important press the change button first and go to sorry extras auto field mapping 
Yeah, the radio button selection should be like this. No changes. Now you have to accept the proposal one by one for the each field. Field mapping is completed. Save the data and go back. <clears throat> next field, next step. Here, uh, no need to do anything. Now, the specify files. This is also important. Now, we have to create the Excel file. So, we have the field name and the description. There, you have to enter the data. Right? So I have entered the finished good plant, bomb usage, a new bomb component, item number, quantity, unit of measure, all the things. Okay. Next you have to remove the description. And the important thing is you have to align the data to the left, right? It's important okay now remove the header data already done now save this file there is a special field uh, file type for this ls1w it's tab delimited dot txt this one right now you give the name make sure you don't delete this dot uh, txt extension name right give a name relevant name and save the data okay yes I forgot one thing I forgot to align the data to the left right okay align the data to the left save done now our text file is ready we have to give the location to that text file right? press the change data and double click on the legacy data now you can give the file path desktop uh, you have to find it okay uh, this folder mom bomb is a bomb to okay name any name right delimiter column press the radio button tabular right uh, rest of the selections are same no change press ok now save the data and go back assign files ok no change just press change button ok position the cursor assignment it says already been assigned to source structure set bomb 1 now press save go back the read data now we are going to read the data from the text file which we have already assigned here remove these two ticks value fields and the data value transaction number means number of rows from the text file which you need to read right so I had only one row but I give uh, from one to five okay it requests your authorization to access file because it's your laptop done go back now display read data from line one okay. data already read 
fill length is there read data is there okay it seems no issue okay. go back convert data row number from 1 to 5 okay display converted data now data is converted to the SAP format now see okay. no change I, I think there is no problem now the create page input session right no need to change anything just press execute one badge input record created now run the badge input session select this one and press process here you have two options you can run this program either background or foreground I enable this log and I select the background okay done it's processing now we can check the log it seems there is no errors logs without session it means uh, change already done now shall we check the bomb okay bomb is there see this component is already changed right yeah I did this for only one you can do it for many records right so thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel in the near future I will meet you uh, with more related trainings to PP, QM, PM.